Hey there! Um, it's a couple days later. Uh, this is the second interview video that I did. Uh, this one is with Stefan Kapicic. Um, he was the voice of Colossus. Uh, so um, I got a little bit more nervous when I was doing this interview because, um, well, Stefan is a bigger part of the movie. I mean, he's he's the voice. He's the guy who actually shows up on the credits as it rolls. So you could kind of say he's like the soul of Colossus. Um, um, and also, he's just like a bigger guy. He's this really big Serbian dude. So he's a, I don't know. I guess I guess it's just the little man in me that just gets intimidated by guys this big. But he he's actually a really cool guy. He's he's pretty nice. Um, and he uh, he uh, you know he gave me the interview just like anyone else. Um, uh, this video is a couple of days later because I was waiting for his publicist to send me an email. Um, of some production photos that they took, you know, some cast pictures, it's, it's all well and good. They'll be interspersed like, um, like this one right here, of, um, which, it, of, uh, what Colossus looked like in the movie. If you haven't seen the movie yet, this is what you can look forward to. Um, and as I hold my hands up, you know, just, uh, telling myself to make the cut, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what this is gonna be about. So, this is me interviewing Stefan Kapicic. I really hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Mr. St Mr. Kapicic. I'm just gonna call you Steph. No, no, you're, you're Stefan. Stefan! Oh god. So nice much. It's my pleasure. Okay, um, this is Wake Angel 2001 and Eli. Um, we are interviewing Stefan Kapisic from uh, from the upcoming Deadpool movie. Um, oh, by the way, um, we, we interviewed with Greg LaSalle a little earlier. He said to say hi. Uh -huh. and, Thank you. and also, he did not know how to pronounce your last name either. <laughs> yeah, it's well, originally you should say Kapicic, but it's Kapisic. It's easier that way without Chichi. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so you are the voice of Deadpool, right? Voice of Colossus. Colossus. Right, sorry. The voice of Deadpool. Oh, okay. The voice of Colossus in the Deadpool movie. Alright, alright, you talk. I'm just going to sit here and follow you. What he meant was you're the voice of Colossus in the Deadpool movie. Yep. Yes. That's correct. So, um, you are, are you a comic book fan? I'm a big comic book fan. You turn off the A fan of the comic? Yes, a big one. I'm a big, I have a big collection of comic book movies, you know, like, 10,000 of those, so this is like fulfillment of my childhood dream to become one of the superheroes, you know, to become a Colossus. Because uh, when, you, when you like look at a Colossus, it's CGI, mm -hmm. but on the other side, the voice is the soul. Yeah. And the voice, with voice, you know, you, you get recognizable. And when you see like Star Wars, everybody knows, you know, with Darth Vader's voice. Yeah, James Earl Jones, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah. So, well, it, it's hard because, you know, all those CGI effects and all those things are specific mm -hmm. because it's computer. But with your voice, you need to, to, to give emotions, to give feelings. And it's really hard to do it without like showing yourself. But still, we don't know, you know, because Colossus has his human form. And who knows, there may be going to be sequels and you never know. So, all right, so I'm sorry. So you said that you're a comic fan, but I'm, I'm yeah. going to ask the forbidden question. Do you like DC or Marvel? <laughs> Uh, Marvel. Okay, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> Marvel, definitely. So because my first comic book mm -hmm. was Marvel comic, mm -hmm. and my grandpa bought it to me when I was like six years old. Mm -hmm. You know, we went to some store, and they brought like a big pile of comic books, Marvel comic books, and my grandpa was like, come on, pick one. I was watching the pile, I was like, hmm, maybe this one, or maybe that one, or, hmm, and grandpa went like, come on, take it all. We were gonna take them all. That's an awesome grandpa. So yeah, the best <laughs> in the world. So, that, you know, and, and there was like so many of the X Men and Wolverine. So I, you know, my first comic book, I, I met Colossus through them. All right. So um, so you 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 provide the voice of Colossus. So yeah. so did they do your voice recording first and then match Colossus's speech to you, or did you have to worry about matching mouth flaps from the pre-recorded? No no no. Uh, I did it first because it, the most important thing is to, to, to make a character through his voice. And then the CGI people, the guys, you know, they're like matching my voice and the characteristic that I did. 
So it came all after I, I, I created the Colossus with Tim Miller. So after that, you're like, you know, finishing the CGI moments with facial expressions and all those things which are like, you know, in, in, in what, well, getting for Colossus. So I, we did it first. You know, we didn't have anything except, you know, just a green screen in my voice. And we were like trying to create the situations and everything with Ryan Reynolds and, and the other guys. Okay, that, that, that's actually cool. That's like, that's like the way uh, cartoons, from American cartoon voice acting works. Like in, oh, similar. Yeah. But we have like a different thing because, you know, you have like real time characters here, you know, yeah. in, in cartoons, the other characters are animated, so you can like do whatever you want with the other ones. Here we have already like, you know, uh, actors who did their job and did their scenes, so you have to get into that with your voice, trying to, you know, respond to, you know, to the scene, to the emotion that they're giving you. So it's, it's really... It's a hard job, but it's beautiful, you know, being a part of, like, that pool and Marvel Universe is like, it's, you know, well, dream come true. That's much more complex. I, w I was just thinking about mouth flaps, like, making sure that Deadpool's mouth matches your words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have such a bruise on my no, forehead for kidding totally myself. Cool. <laughs> Matching Colossus's mouth flaps to your voice. I, I was just thinking about that, but yeah, you're right. All that other stuff is a lot more complex. Mm -hmm. Eli, yeah, you but the they did that after, you know, because I already did, you know, the Colossus voice and feelings and everything. So they, I think Greg did that after I, I finished, you know, the role of Colossus. Who he just needed to like switch those things to, you know, for CGI. Mm -hmm. So you said that you're originally from Germany? I was born in Germany. You were born in Germany? Yeah, my father was a basketball player, so he played okay. uh, for uh, Southern Cone, cool. and I was born there, yeah. So where, did you, so where did you grow up? I grew up in Belgrade, in Serbia. Okay, all right. In next Yugoslavia. Uh, I finished the faculty of the Mathic Arts, one of the best Eastern European school for acting. You know, it's, they had like amazing professor for the stage. And after that, like, I, I started like doing work all around Europe, so. I, I brought States. yeah I brought that up because um, I, I, I I like the fact that they're going back to Klaus's original roots of you know he's he's a Russian yes he's from Russia because in the in the American in the X Men movies from the early two thousands and um, he's played by an American actor he has no accent or anything so I mean um, you know he's great and everything's great it's just they're missing out that fact yeah and that's for me I think that's really an important thing mm -hmm. because if you're making a comic book character as he is. So let's be Colossus, is, his name is Pyotr Nikolaevich yeah. Vespucci, and he mm -hmm. comes from, you know, Russia. Mm -hmm. Well, he cannot, like, you know, speak like an American. Yeah. He needs to have, like, the most important thing, you know, where you can, like, find that he's not from here, from, from the States is his accent and the way he talks. Yeah. So, as we know, in, in a kind of cartoons, you know, the yeah, Colossus, the Colossus cartoon, yeah, yeah, he has, like, Russian accent, mm -hmm. and the fans wanted Colossus to be mm -hmm. originally Russian, and the good thing is, you know, is, is that you know maybe in some of the sequels or who knows in the X Men movie, there's like his sister, Ileana, Ileana Majik, yeah. you know, he's a, she's an amazing character. So who knows, you know, maybe they will like connect his brother and sister because Colossus is some sort of a Marvel Marvel Universe Superman. He's like a genuine idealistic uh, superhero. And that the, the thing that he's coming from Russia, like an old, old school Russian mm -hmm. artist soul, you know, he's a gentleman, he's, he's, he's like a guy from a Dostoevsky's novel, you know, the pure idealist fighting for good, you know, so, so he's, he's really a valuable character, you know, in Marvel Universe. So Daniel Kadmer is an amazing actor, but the way they treated Colossus mm -hmm. was, was not as good as the way that Tim Miller gave Colossus a chance, yeah. so he, he brought him back to life. As I recall, in the previous X-Men movies, Colossus, is, they boiled his entire character down to the big metal guy. So, there's really not much, not much room for expansion there. No, <laughs> no, but because now, the, well, when you, when you put like that Colossus and this Colossus, the, the, you know, in, in the side, when you see yeah. the Colossus in Deadpool movie, that's the, the Colossus side, yeah. you know, yeah. he's so totally huge. And the good thing well, is that, you know, when you see Marvel Universe, one of the most powerful characters is Colossus. You have Hulk, you have Thor, you have Juggernaut, and you have Colossus. So he's one of the strongest characters in Marvel. So it's a shame we don't have him more, but now we have Deadpool, so we have 
Colossus in his, in yeah, his I, place. Yeah, I was saying that earlier. I was saying that Colossus is such an underrated X-Men. Absolutely. He's I agree very with underrated. He was always, not anymore. He was always, yeah, not anymore. But he was always one of my favorites. In the video games, in X-Men Legends 1 and 2, mm -hmm. he's always on my team. Yeah. And, like, and, um, and it's funny because when you, when you play with him, um, you hear um, Russian words. Like, he would be like, Niet and Shto. And, 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 and I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, well, maybe, who knows, you know, maybe in, in the sequel we, well, the reactions for, for Colossus are amazing. So the thing is, we Tim Miller, thanks to Tim Miller and, you know, Deadpool and thanks to, you know, myself, we, we brought back Colossus, to, to, you know, to the fans. So people love him so much. So, you know, yesterday after the screening, you know, here in New York, you know, fans were like, oh my God, we want to see more Colossus. And in lots of reviews, you have so many of the, of the critics, they were like, we, we don't want Colossus out of the screen, you know, we wanted to see more and more. So, you know, uh, Tim Miller made a great choice to take, he had to take some of the X-Men, so he took the best one for me, for, for the Deadpool, and that's Colossus. In the third movie, they were actually going to, they were supposed to do a backstory to Colossus, and they, they took that out. You know, that's one of the reasons why it failed. They were gonna yeah. do more for him. There's there are so many characters in the X Men, yeah. you know, in the franchise. That's I don't I don't blame them for that because yeah. there you know, we have Wolverine, Cyclops, Jean Grey, Beast, you know, you, there's well, you have to like delete some money or just mm -hmm. give them a little bit of a spot. But now that we, thanks to Deadpool and the other, you know, heroes, we can like get some of the X Men and get and give them, you know, the time that they deserve. Focus on a smaller cast so that each one is more well developed. Yeah. So, um, you were supposedly a, like a last-minute replacement for this role or something? I, I heard that. Um, well, I, I didn't know anything about that, you know, because I got like a call for the audition. So I heard that like when, when everybody did. So I didn't know when I was like doing all those things that I'm any kind of a replacement to someone. Because, you know, I just got my audition, got my job. Worked, I was working that job for like four months with Tim Miller. So it was announced. And, Christmas Eve, so I didn't know anything about it. Um, so, uh, but I, I heard, I heard that, uh, that you were when you were going over the lines, you actually kind of were able to figure out based on the names of the characters that you were reading about. Um, I heard something about that. No, not in the beginning. When I got my first sides for the first edition, you know, the, everything was top secret. You know, I couldn't know what I'm. You know, that was, that was just like some project. You know, and I, I did my first. First row, first circle. How do you say that? The first audition, I sent it. The, so the next, the next call, uh, it was still the same. Then the third call, they switched and changed some names there, you know. And me as a comic book fan, when I saw the, the weight, I was thinking, oh my God, this could be Deadpool, you know, because wait, there's only Wade Wilson. Wait, yeah. I know. <laughs> and so the guy with the Russian accent, with the name, you know. Native accent that can be only Colossus, so I was so crazy about it. That made me like a little bit, well, of, gave me a little bit of a pressure, but what, you know that's why it helped me to make it better. What if it was one of the others, like like Omega Red? Like that would be yeah, cool though yeah. too. Yeah, well, or maybe uh, uh, Craven the Hunter. Craven, oh, Craven the Hunter. That's that, that's that's it. Craven will be I'm, like I'm thinking, you know, if Spider if there is like casting for that, I think you know, my, you know, I'm six four, you know, like. Can bulk up a little bit more, <laughs> so I can play. Say when they were, yeah, you know, it's funny. Um, awesome. When they were gonna, before on um, Tomb and then quit. When they were thinking about the fourth movie, Craven was one of the, Craven was one of the possibilities for a villain, and so was it was Craven and I believe Michael Morbius. One of oh, those two really? were like the, the, the they were, they, were, they had like a list of, of villains they wanted to use. Oh, and the Vulture, the three of them. And well, but, Craven and, is an amazing villain, you know, and Craven even like appears in Deadpool, as I know, you know, so so. <laughs> Who knows? You never know because he's still not used as a, as, as a villain. He's really good one. That's Sorry, yeah, I'm gonna like geek out. I just remember I remember in Spider-Man when 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 Craven had to team up with Spider-Man to help the the, the to help his wife, the, the scientist, because she went all crazy and, and, and then yeah. yeah. That episode? No, I I remember the episode where Spider-Man was going through the mutation disease and Craven, Craven helped the had Punisher to help, tra the, help track him. The, yeah, then they got the Punisher. To, yeah, it was mm -hmm. a lot of. Marvel. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, Craven's the expert tracker and Hunter knows how to Yeah, he was, like, he, had to, he was like, I smell him. And like, you know, uses all his senses while his senses. And that's, that's amazing. <laughs> it was all, you know, this is, that was also in the Marvel Zombies universe with Craven. Um, the, the zombified version of Spider-Man had crossed dimensions to huh? one that hadn't been zombified. 
and he hadn't eaten he hadn't eaten flesh for for a long time, so he had managed to kick the craving. But it was Craven the hunter who's carrying around a bunch of herbs and and things in his hunting pouch. It's basically like spider like zombie Spider Man was smelling uh, spiced meat and just and he fell off the wagon and ate him. <laughs> so, that's. Yeah. So th there's a uh, Craven being indirectly responsible for uh, another zombified universe ending. <laughs> so as you as a, as a as a comic fan, do you ever go to the conventions? Well, when I have time, yeah. Oh. I went to San Diego, but unfortunately, I'm like traveling so much mm -hmm. last you know, for the last years. I'm like always like going back and forth, USA, Europe. So when I have time, yeah. But you know, I always go to Midtown Comics. You know, mm -hmm. I have some. Golden Apple in Los Angeles, some of my stores that I'm going right, go and buy. I'm pretty sure after this movie, you're going to see a lot of Colossus cosplayers. <laughs> well, I hope for that. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Um, oh, but um, so is Colossus really your big first major role, or um, is there anything that my my viewers would typically be more familiar with that you've done recently? In the states, no. I think the Colossus is the, the biggest there is, and thank God for that. In Europe, yes, I did some, some really huge movies, like even like with. Producing by Luc Besson and, and so many of like European things, but for the States, this is the best one, and thank God for that, you know, because mm -hmm. you have such a big fan base with, with the Marvel comics and comic books at all. So yeah, it's I'm getting huge to, now. Yeah, so it's good to be part of it. The, the, there is no better way to get into like you know uh, this world, you know, with this movie. It's really something unbelievable. Yeah, people are going crazy now, like, you know, like, the comic con tickets out, like, crazy, mm -hmm. comic books out, um, you know, the fans, just are, like, it's, just, um, it's so much more popular than it, it's like, it's cool now, you know what I mean, it's like something that, it wasn't cool 10 years ago, you yeah. know, and, you know, you got beat up for being a nerd, and, like, now it's like, it's cool. Now it's really now cool it, being you know, a nerd, like, yeah. yeah, it's like, everyone wants to be a nerd, even people that don't know anything about, like, I've, I've had conversations with, like, people who don't know anything about the comics, mm -hmm. and they try to talk, tell me they're an X-Men fan. <laughs> and I don't even want. And I don't even want to. I tell them, oh well, who do you like? This, 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 this. Oh, uh, Wolverine. <laughs> um, so you know. I remember when I was still in in uh, uh, my last year of college, I attended New York Comic Con for the first time. Uh -huh. Uh, you could actually you could actually walk up the day that the convention was going on and buy the yeah, and buy a at ticket. The door. You were able to buy it. No way. Yeah, in yeah. two thousand in two thousand eight, my first one, you were able to go and buy a ticket, and it was oh it, it, it was probably about yeah. two thousand twelve that I just started getting crazy. Yeah, now yeah, now, now you got to be like sitting at your computer you sit, six yeah. months in advance, reloading the page, hoping yeah, you get on that queue. Yeah, Let that. me tell you, I take yeah. a, I go I take a day off from work and I just sit. I, I make <laughs> no, I leave early. I leave early until I have something to do, and then. And then, um, yeah. <laughs> that's okay. And then, and then I left my job early, and I went and I got my ticket. And then the next day they were like, "Was everything okay?" I was like, "Everything was great because I got my ticket, so everything was good." Mm. Uh, okay, so um, so Colossus, he's a he's a character that I understand is realized by four people. Uh, you're the voice, and um, and uh, get, get, get the other guy was like the face. So um. So like, did you guys like actually collaborate? Like, did you talk to the stunt, the the guy who did the the physical stunts or anything, like to to make sure everything was consistent? Mm, as far as I know, uh, Tim Miller and I we created Colossus, and those guys helped you know the animation to get like as much as it could, you know. So. So basically, they followed your lead. As, yeah, as a matter of fact, yeah. So you know, because for the CGI, you need to have some parts. I'm not, I'm not totally into that. The thing is, I audition for Colossus as a character because it's credited always for the you know person which you know are recognizable with a voice and all those things. When it's CGI, as you have like Ultron is James Spider, uh, Vin Diesel is the Groot, yeah, uh, Rocket Raccoon is Bradley Cooper. So you know. It's who we, we have always like mocap guys. You have uh, facial expression guys, but that's all going, you know, for the to making a character which is or a Hulk, you know, whatever, you know. It's it's it cannot be like a person to do that. So the thing that is credited is is a voice because through your voice you're giving him a characteristic, you're giving him a character, you're giving him feelings, and so 
I well, I didn't I didn't know about those guys. I just you know, I heard about it. They're helping the CGI moment, so thank thank them, I thank them. But the credit goes to to me. Yeah. Um, do you, do you have a favorite line that you said that you read for the? Front yeah, part? one of the favorite lines is four or five moments when he goes in the final di uh, monologue. And we came to love this Deadpool. It's something that Colossus says a lot of times. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you very much for, for speaking with us. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> thank you. You're awesome. <laughs> thank you. You too, guys. We, we look forward to seeing the movie on Friday, because that's, 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 you know, that's what we're going to do first thing. Yeah, I'm going to call out of work and go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to enjoy it. All right. Thank, thank you so me. much.